previously on the Kungslede. We had our first lake crossing, which turned out to be a very special one. Thick mist covered the landscapes, but when it cleared, we were greeted by spectacular views, revealing the beauty of the landscapes. We reached the campsite of SCF Aktse on the other side of the lake and decided to stay there because of its breathtaking beauty. As night fell, we made a campfire, enjoying the tranquility under the stars. And when we thought the day couldn't be any more perfect, we experienced the northern lights for the first time in our lives. In this vlogging series, we invite you to join us on our journey of the section from Fikjok to Salto de Wokta. As we venture above the Arctic Circle for the first time, we're stepping into a whole new world. One filled with vast landscapes, majestic reindeer, and the mesmerizing northern lights. Let's discover the magic of the Kungslede together. We just left our camp and it was a really, really, really cold night. The temperature dropped way below freezing and we had a very rough night. But in that rough night, just before we saw the Northern Lights, where we were very happy, maybe that was the reason why we couldn't keep warm in the night because we stayed up very late, very chilly, but the Northern Lights were amazing. Today we're going to Sito Yauda. From here is 10 kilometers, so it shouldn't take that long. And there we're gonna catch a boat at five. And the special thing about that boat, the guy who owns the place, the boat, he is a fisherman and he sells his fish as well where we can eat. <laughs> really looking forward to that. Leaving the special campsite of Axel was tough. Its charm held us tight, making it hard to say goodbye. But as we climbed to higher ground, the scenery changed dramatically. The trees vanished, replaced by a landscape resembling the unique and rugged terrain of Mars. It felt like stepping into a whole new world waiting to be explored. ringing. Hey Lars, this is Dane and Alette. We would like to cross the lake at 1715 today, so this afternoon for two people. Uh, I will call you back later, but then you, uh, then you know. Bye bye. He said something in Swedish. Apparently we have to call a guy here because he lives on the other side of the lake and if we're in, this is the only place where we have signal so we have to call here and then he comes with the boat to this side of the lake at a quarter past five uh, but I got his voicemail so I think the smart option is to wait here and call in 10 minutes or something yeah, I guess so. it's a beautiful day so it's not a bad place to wait 10 minutes Lars confirmed so we can continue our hike to the lake and catch the boat tonight and hopefully have some warm fish in our belly this evening.
lake crossing was a sight of beauty. Yet an unexpected challenge arose when the boat's motor hit the lake floor. Despite the mishap, the boat operator repaired the boat and after two hours we were able to continue our journey. Unfortunately, the fish we mentioned before wasn't there. There was no one selling it on the other side of the lake. And due to the really cold last night, we decided to treat ourselves by staying in a cozy hut next to this beautiful lake. What we didn't expect was the incredible quietness, unlike anything we had ever experienced before. In this peaceful and calm place, there was complete silence. No distant sounds, no echoes of civilization. Just a serene and undisturbed tranquility that wrapped around us like a comforting hug. To make the most of the cozy hut's warmth, we seized the opportunity to dry our tent. And to add a touch of perfection, we kindled a fire in the fireplace. We found ourselves alone in the hut, savoring the solitude and serenity that surrounded us. As the sun started its descent, casting a warm glow across the landscape, we prepared a delicious dinner. Positioned by the window, we enjoyed a table with a spectacular view, overlooking the lake as the vibrant colors of the sunset painted the sky. It was a breathtaking spectacle, an ever-changing masterpiece that unfolded before our very eyes, adding a touch of magic to our meal. How's the taste? <laughs> On the next episode of the Kungsleden. As our adventure draws to a close, join us on our final day along this magnificent trail. Fall paints the landscape with an inspiring palette of colors like we've never seen before. The vibrant hues of red, orange and gold transform the surroundings into a picturesque wonderland, creating a visual feast for the eyes. We are incredibly fortunate to encounter the majestic reindeer once again. It feels as if they've been watching over us throughout our entire journey. Stay tuned for this remarkable reunion on the next episode of the Kungsleden. <laughs>